गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन नाउ यू नो वट इज अ रेशो लेट्स लर्न मोर अबाउट रेशोज लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रेशो एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट मोर इन अ स्कूल देर आर टू हंड्रेड गर्ल्स एंड देर आर थ्री हंड्रेड बॉयज सो वॉट इज द रेशो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स टू द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इन द स्कूल नाउ वी हैव द इंफॉर्मेशन नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एंड द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड टू फाइंड द रेशो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स टू द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज वी डिवाइड नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स बाय नंबर ऑफ बॉयज इट बिकम्स टू हंड्रेड कम्स हेयर दैट इज द न्यूमरेटर एंड थ्री हंड्रेड गोस डाउन एंड बिकम्स द डिनोमिनेटर एंड वी गेट टू हंड्रेड बाय थ्री हंड्रेड नाउ रिड्यूसिंग इट फर्दर what do we get we divide both the numerator and denominator here by 100 and we get 2 by 3 so what can we say we can say the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys is equal to 2 is to 3 now we know the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys is equal to 2 is to 3 so what is the ratio of number of boys to the number of girls can we find it out is it also 2 is to 3 because nothing has changed the number of girls remains 200 and the number of boys remains to be 300 no this is wrong the ratio of number of boys to the number of girls is not equal to 2 is to 3 why let us understand it the number of girls is equal to 200 the number of boys is equal to 300 now when we are finding the ratio of boys is to girls then we need to do number of boys divided by number of girls which becomes 300 by 200 which is the number of girls so it can be simplified and we will get after dividing 300 and 200 by 100 we get it simplified form as 3 by 2 so what is the ratio of number of boys to the number of girls it is 3 is to 2 so remember when the number of girls is equal to 200 and the number of boys is equal to 300 the two ratios 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 are different from each other the ratio of number of boys to the number of girls is 3 and 2 3 is to 2 and the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys equal to 2 is to 3 so the two ratios are different remember the ratio of quantity a to quantity b is not same as the ratio of quantity b to quantity a unless both the quantities 
A and B are same. As we saw, the ratio of number of boys to the number of girls was not same as the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys. Understood? In the story, we saw the king filled the tank with 200 jugs of milk and ordered every family in the kingdom to pour one jug of milk. What happened? First, the rich man came and filled one jug of water instead of milk. So, what was the ratio of milk to water then? The ratio of milk to water became 200 is to 1. Later, the poor man poured one jug of milk. Then, the ratio of milk to water became 201 is to 1. The whole night people came to keep on pouring water or milk in the tank and what happened? 549 more men added water instead of milk and only 9 honest men added milk. Then what was the ratio of milk to water? The amount of milk became 201 plus 9 jugs which is equal to 210 jugs and the amount of water became 1 plus 549 which is equal to 550 jugs and now the ratio of milk to water became 210 by 550. If we reduce dividing both the numerator and denominator by 10 what do we get? It becomes 21 by 55. So the ratio of milk to water became 21 is to 55. Initially the ratio of milk to water was 200 is to 1. Later the ratio of milk to water became 21 is to 55. What does it mean? Initially for 200 jugs of milk there was just one jug of water but later for every 21 jugs of milk 55 jugs of water was added. See so much dilution of milk was there because each person was adding water instead of milk thinking what difference it will make if he adds water instead of milk but the dilution increased from every 200 jug had one jug of water so now you know a lot about ratios to reiterate the ratio of quantity A to quantity B is not same as the ratio of quantity B to quantity A in general unless quantity A and quantity B are same. That's all for now. Bye bye children.